Hey guys, Drudder here. It's November the 21st, 2017, and this is a Bitcoin video on how I believe the price could potentially reach $1 million in the next few years. And uh, it's ultra technical, as you can see, I'm pointing my camera at the screen, but um, I will get with the 90s at some point. But anyhow, um, this is how I think Bitcoin could reach a million dollars. And this chart is the logarithmic chart. And I've taken out the ups and downs. I've sort of simplified the price action. But this is the chart going back all the way to essentially the beginning of Bitcoin here. It actually starts, the price action starts here at around 2011 on the left and goes to the end of 2017 here now on the right as we are at about 8150 US dollars per Bitcoin. And uh, before I explain why there's this empty space on the right and up top here, you'll probably be able to guess, but I want to talk about the um, overall pattern of this chart and I don't think it is any secret that Bitcoin does follow a pattern and if you're looking at the pattern here you can see that it goes up to a new high then it consolidates in price and in time but then when it breaks through that level it makes a new high and repeats consolidating through price and through time here and breaking through that level to a new high and consolidating through price and through time a lot of time two years or so but in the last year or so we did break that thousand level and are approaching the ten thousand dollar level so the pattern is predictable and that doesn't mean that it's going to continue on the exact same pattern but they say the trend is your friend and that's another way of saying if you can see a pattern, if you spot a pattern, there is a chance, a decent chance, that that pattern is going to continue. But what if Bitcoin is going to continue approximately doing the same thing it's been doing for the past few years, which is making new highs, then consolidating through price and through time, sometimes for quite a while, but then eventually breaking through and making new highs, sometimes several new highs in a row. If it does continue that pattern, one possible outcome is like so. I just took the last four years or so and put them on the end of the chart here. So logarithmically, so we have 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, and 1 million on the right, logarithmically. If Bitcoin continues the way it has been going, it could very easily reach a million dollars in the next four years. And like I said, there's no guarantee of that. That's just one path that Bitcoin might take to reach a million dollars. But I wanted to point it out because when I said that at $50, right about here on the chart, I said, Bitcoin looks like it's going to go to $1,000 very quickly, by my estimations, and then ultimately it may go up to a, up to a million dollars, I said. and people lost their shit, especially about the million dollar prediction. But I never said it was, I predicted that it was going to go to a million dollars. I just said that it is very possible that it can go to a million dollars. And I just wanted to point out that it was possible. That's all I was saying back there. And I can link back to some of those videos when I was talking about Bitcoin way, way back here. And even back here, but I was uh, very negative about Bitcoin back there. And I started to get more interested about it later on as I learned more about it. But then at the $50 point, that's when I made some predictions about a thousand and I made some predictions about a million. And um, even some very respected YouTubers uh, confronted me about the thousand dollar prediction and said, that's, you know, you've discredited yourself now. That's, you know, that was unfortunate that you said that because that's not possible. It's not possible for Bitcoin to ever go anywhere near a thousand dollars or even a hundred. So, um, we just have to remember how wrong some people have been this whole way and how many people have called it a bubble from since it was a dollar, right? So 
Um, those people have been wrong the entire time and we are at the all-time high currently and making new all-time highs all the time. So is it finished? Maybe. Maybe it's going to pull back now. Maybe it will pull back and it actually could do a good pullback here from 8200 or so where it is now. Um, maybe down to 4500 to 5000 even again. But um, that may not come until the 10,000 or so level. And then again, maybe none of that is right. Maybe it will just go to a million dollars tomorrow, or maybe it won't. Maybe it'll go to nothing. Uh, <clears throat> but this is just one way that Bitcoin can go to a million dollars, and it could do that in the next few years, or even sooner. This, I, you know, I could have gone steeper here. There's a, there's a very steep section here, or I could have taken this steep section here and said maybe that will repeat. Well, then we'll get to a million dollars in only a couple of years. So it's very possible that Bitcoin can do it in two, three, or four years. Um, and it does look like it is headed in that direction. Nothing right now is stopping it. So I just wanted to point out um, that that is the case. And um, we have to remember that even though we may feel intuitively that something is at a high or is impossible to go any higher or is it just doesn't make sense. That doesn't matter. It still may continue. That trend may be your friend. And if it is, this is one way that we can see a million dollars in the next four years. Talk to you guys soon.